blood never act out in emotion it will cost you dearly some madness happened in Edmonton a few nights ago so I'm at my mum's yard in Edmonton and one of my brethren calls me to talk about one of my YouTube videos chatting to him on the phone for like a minute and I think so why am I talking to my friend on the phone like a gal when he's around the corner at his yard I said to him blood I'm at my mum's you know what are you saying He's at his house. You free? Yeah. Hour later, I went to his house, picked him up. I said, yeah, we're going Krispy Kreme. So he went down to the Krispy Kreme in Enfield. And we're in the drive-thru. In the drive-thru for like half an hour, you know, just to get some donuts. Obviously, happy hour, one free donut. You don't know. Got the donuts now. And first up, why the fuck is Krispy Kreme even open when it's a non-essential shop? I thought this lockdown thing was supposed to be essential shops open only. Uh, how the fuck is Krispy Kreme uh, an essential shop where it's open and you can walk in? Anyway, before we left the little car park where the McDonald's and the Krispy Kreme is in Enfield, I decided, you know what, let me get a McDonald's cheeseburger. Whilst I'm in the car, my bridge, and he gets a call from his girl. She says something like, when you lot are coming back to the ends, you don't need to be careful or you don't need to take a diver or something like that because the police has blocked the road. Apparently, a man drove his car into the police station and tried to set the police station on fire. I said, no fucking way. Now, I'm going to show the video, hopefully. Cause you know how YouTube is trying to ban this thing and ban that? I'm going to show the video so you look can see now. Oh, my God. Go, go, come back because he's really petrol. What you doing, man? No, 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 let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh come back. Run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crazy. Oh. I mean like it's just a madness, isn't it? Like what, what other word do you use? Now I don't want to get into the technicalities of why he did this, why he did that, because I'm hearing rumour here, rumour there. Apparently a man got a heavy fine, something to do with the lockdown or whatever. Let's say it was that. Let's say it was something else. It don't matter what it was. His actions would not have helped. He was not thinking logically. Acting out like that, you're going to land yourself in jail. He was not thinking. Now, obviously, you're not going to say, yeah, he wasn't thinking. No, seriously. He was not thinking. Like, I don't know what he was, the man. What, did he think he was the Edmonton Terminator or something like that? Man driving a car through the fucking police station. Now, the reason why I call it Edmonton Terminator, because... If you lot seen the film The Terminator, the man drove the car through the fucking police station. Like, what did he think he was going to achieve by that? Now, the reason why I made this video, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But this is to show people, listen, never act out in emotion. I'm telling you, you will get yourself into serious trouble. Always think things through. I guarantee you, if a man didn't act out impulsively or whatever like that. Now, when I say impulsively, I don't know when this thing happened or whatever in terms of uh, to provoke him to do this. But if a man sat down and thought about it for a few months, he wouldn't have done what he did. Trust me, I ain't, listen, I, I thought dumb stuff as well. Don't get it, I ain't no fucking saint. Nah, I've been in position, yeah, man, a man do, a man, do me something and that. 
and I got access to certain whatever, yeah. So I man, I can phone up to, and then I have to get a reality check. I have to come to my senses. I remember one time something happened and that, and then, you know, one of my brethren phoned me to see how I am or whatever, and I'm on the phone to him. And I'm saying, yeah, when I get this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And you know what? Shout out to my brethren, Kofi, from school. When I'm screaming about, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. He shouted at me, you know. He said, Black, what about your mum? I said, yeah. If I go and do something and go and mash up a man or whatever... You know how many lives are going to be affected by this? So, I'm going to go and mash up a man. So, I'm going to mash up a man. That's one life. I'm going to go and mash up myself because I'm in jail. I'm going to hurt his family's feelings. I'm going to hurt my mum's feelings. When you act out in emotion, it's not just you that gets in trouble, you know. It's not just you that go and feel pain. Others are around you. Maybe your girl. Maybe your mother, maybe, maybe your brother, whoever. You can't act high in emotion. It's just going to end you up in trouble. You know how many men are in prison right now because they, end, they act high in emotion? Man, see his ex-girlfriend with an ex-man while well, mash him up. It's happened. I know, I know man. I know, man. Mash up man, boom, hefty sentence in prison. Don't get it twisted, but I've seen my ex with an ex brother and jumped off the bike and no fists were, you know, I didn't fly no fists or nothing like that. But imagine if I got into altercation what, over some girl because a man's acting out in emotion. Imagine, imagine I even got handcuffs slapped on me, even for a fray, even for a little fight. Was it really worth it? Was that going to get the girl back? No. Girl do it as well. Act high in emotion. Getting themselves in trouble. Everyone does it. Don't get it twisted. But if you're ever angry, I'm telling you, you, you need to think this thing through. Even like dumb stuff, like you could just cuss someone out. Cuss out one of your managers. You could end up losing your job. Now, obviously, it's not going to be that serious because... You ain't going to jail. Your manager might do something that you don't like and you just lose your temper. That could cost you your job. Now me, I've cussed out managers, but they were disrespecting me. Calling me names or whatever. Tell me, shut your mouth. I lost my job from it. That's cool. I'm not having no one disrespect me. I, 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 I don't give a fuck. I'm not having no one disrespect me. Man come approach me. Like, standing in my face, talking, greased. I dash a man on the table. I don't give a fuck. In a situation like that, like, if a man is standing across the street cursing after me, that's different. I can let that go. But if a man's in my face, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, there are going to be some emotions. <laughs> yeah. I'm not having, like, you're, you're threatening me. You threaten me, I'll deal with you. Simple. I had to even drop out one of my friends. Because a man is acting out in emotion. I made a video talking about something to do with the Black Lives Matter. Talking about Black Lives Matter. Ain't got nothing to do with this guy. Didn't mention the guy's name. Didn't say nothing about him. Didn't make no references to this guy. Nothing. A man has come on my YouTube channel. Come on my YouTube video. Gone to my comment section. And left a fat scroll of a fucking diatribe. If you don't know what that means, a long verbal attack. Ryan, all this bullshit, like, you, you've made this video for the sake of it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, rah, this is supposed to be one of my dons, you know, like someone that I know. Man that I know. Coming with this long, rare tear shit. Now they drop him out. I'm not having that. That's a disrespect. He got dropped out because he was acting out of emotion. And I know, like me, I read into everything. I, I take everything as a disrespect. I don't let nothing slide. But I knew it was a disrespect because two people mentioned it to me. I didn't mention it to no one, you know. 
One person hit me up out of the blue, screenshotted it and said, Rah, Jay, what go on for your man subscriber? I said, blood, you're not supposed to be my friend, you know. And next person, I mentioned something like, oh, someone was talking some grease on one of my comments, on one of my videos, and they said, I know the comment you're talking about. I didn't mention what video it was or anything like that. It wasn't just the last video that been released. Maybe it was like the second or third from last video that been released. But someone remembered that comment because someone was talking grease. Acting out of emotion. And the reason why I took it as a disrespect as well, solely because that's my brethren. You got my number. You got something to say about a video that I've made. Don't fucking put it on my, on my, on my comment section. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know me. You got my number. You got something to say. You message me. If it's someone that I met one time and then, you know, they're on my YouTube channel watching my video, then cool. But this is someone that I know. Someone that can text me. Someone whose house I've been to. Someone, yeah, he's been to my house. You got a problem with something that I've said or whatever. If you want to tap me, phone me up or text me or something, you know, we... We don't need to be airing our dirty laundry out in public. Yeah. All because a man took offence to something that had nothing to do with him personally. And then he's acted out of emotion. Cost him a friendship. So you got you got lots of different ends of the scale. Yeah, a certain time you might act out of emotion. You might lose your job. You might lose a friend. You might end up in a jail. Imagine my man. Imagine the sentences that my man's going to be, they're going to place on him. Man, I slap him with reckless driving, criminal damage, arson, endangering human life. And that's just something that I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a judge. There's these local things that come to my brain just now. Imagine them judges and lawyers, they come out all different kinds of sentences. Arson, you know. That's maniac movements. They're going to give you a maniac sentence. They're not going to give you community service or look at probation and that. Arson. On a police station. Come on, fam. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, man. When you act out in emotion, you don't make a logical decision. This is why a lot of women get themselves into trouble as well, you know. Man them too, man them too, obviously. Man them too, innit? But. A lot of women get themselves in trouble because they act out of emotion and they regret it. <laughs> a man thought it would be acceptable to do that, but yeah, let's say a man got slapped with a 10 grand fine. Well, you think, well, so, so, so you thought driving through the police station and trying to set the police station on fire is going to remove the fine or whatever. But you're going to get sentenced and you're going to still have to pay back the Ross Clark fine. So what was the fucking point? Don't get it twisted though. 10 grand is a lot of fucking money, man. Especially if it was for the reason that like, being open or past lockdown or whatever. That's the rumour. I think they 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 should have just maybe told him to shut down or whatever. Give him community service and say shut down until after lockdown or whatever. You didn't have to slap a man with a 10 grand fine. But at the same time, there's not an excuse to go and try and drive through the fucking police station at the Edmund and Ross Clark Terminator and try to set the place alive like Al-Qaeda. So, if you're ever in a position where you th you feel like acting out emotion, don't. Don't. I, I've almost lost business, you know, because I almost acted out in emotion. I'll leave a link, like a video suggestion, round about here or round about there somewhere. The people who used to run the community centre, the managers where I had the vending machine, they wanted to take my key away from me, what they eventually did. And I thought they wanted to take the key away from me so I don't have access to the community centre because they saw me making videos in the community centre. Because they asked me, what were you doing in here at that time? And I told them. I was using the community centre to make videos for my YouTube channel. And I wanted to blast them, you know. But I, you know, self-control. I didn't blast them. And you know, it was only because they were running out of keys and they knew that I didn't go there that frequently. So they wanted to take away my... Uh, my key and my, my alarm fob to give it to someone else temporarily. Now, eventually, you know, stuff happened in the future and I had to re remove the vending machine. But at that time, I would have lost business 
just because I acted out of emotion. And furthermore, furthermore to blasting them over the phone, although I didn't, I wanted to blast them over the phone, I was going to remove the vending machine anyway, just to get back at them. What kind of, that's nonsense, but it's, we can't help if we get dumb thoughts in our head, but what we can help is how we act on these dumb thoughts. I wanted to take the vending machine out of the fucking community center to show them, oh, who's that gonna hurt, them or me? They could just go and get another vending machine, just like that. That's gonna hurt me, that's less money for me. Again, acting out of emotion, chupidness. Stay wise.